The road to Vegas. Our Erie Sports Now team is there. They are sharing their pre Super Bowl experiences with us tonight. As Kansas City Chiefs fans and 49ers fans are making their way into Vegas, many people are looking forward to eating food that you may not be able to find anywhere else. Our Isaac Petcash and John Lydig flew into Las Vegas. They've had a busy day so far. They're joining us tonight with a closer look at what their day entailed. Gentlemen, good evening. Eva, welcome back here to Allegiant Stadium as we're less than two hours before the players, specifically the Kansas City Chiefs, will take to the podium and take to the floor here uh, down on the field. Isaac, though, before you get ready for a big event, you've always got to gear up with the food, right? And there's maybe few chefs around that could serve up what we saw here today. You had a great chance to talk with uh, the chefs that help people dine here. At yeah, Stadium. salivate over this video while I talk about this, John, because like we know in Vegas, it's all about the experience, right? The game is important, but if you're a fan coming in, you want to be able to see this beautiful stadium and also indulge in some of the culinary that will be a big part. I talked one on one with VP of operations for dining Julia Lombardi earlier tonight. The one thing she told me that was big is we had to make this a collective effort to make sure we had something for everybody, not just the people that will be paying to be in the suites, but the people that have the quote cheap seats, which are eight to nine grand. Then I asked her, how do you make that happen with people of all different walks of life being able to be right in Vegas? She said it was a process, but they had a pretty good team to figure it out. Take a look. I just want to ask, though, we know Vegas is known for its food and its nightlife and its amenities. What was the challenge in making sure you came up with a menu that lived up to this city standards? Oh, my gosh. Listen, it's the Super Bowl. So like I said up there, we have to up the ante. We had to take it to the next level. So you'll see everything from surf and turf nachos, which was, has A5 Wagyu and lobster on there. You don't see that anywhere else in the stadium. Our stuffed potato has crab and lobster on there. It's hard to beat. I don't think anybody in another NFL stadium has both crab and lobster on a dish. Take me through the creative process, a little bit behind the scenes as to what this was like to be able to put this together, because I'm sure it took some time. Yeah, so we definitely scrubbed. We looked at what is uh, people, our fans are eating here at the stadium, plus what we, we people like to eat here in uh, Las Vegas. And we kind of put those together and we brought these really wild dishes together just for the Super Bowl. Just about a half hour from now, John and I will anchor our 7 o'clock Road to Vegas show live here at Allegiant Stadium ahead of opening night where we hear from both teams and get the best stories of what it means for these players to be in the big game, the 58th edition for the Battle of the Lombardi Trophy. More to come for now, though, from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. For John Lydic, I'm Isaac Petcash on the Road to Vegas. Eva, back to you.